Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Siemens WM14T481 washing machine. Now this model has a maximum load size of 8kg and a spin speed of up to 1400 spin. And what I want to do is just really to show you around the machine to show you some of the programs and really some of the features and benefits it offers. So I'll get it plugged in and let's have a look. And the first thing you'll notice is that the control dial is in the middle and there's no on and off button as such which is really good. All you need to do is you just need to turn it to one of the programs and then the display comes on like that. You can see on the right hand side here this is a really nice display and what it will do is it will actually show you but I'll cover all of these in a moment but it gives you the time remaining of the program and of course that varies for each wash and you've also got the load size that you can put in for each program so as long as the door is open a little bit then it will give you the load size as soon as you shut the door then it stops that because it assumes you've already put the clothes in and then as you can see on the right hand side there that's telling it to press start so first of all what I'll do is I'll cover some of the programs that this machine offers and first of all you've got the standard cotton program and then you've got the cotton eco so that can take a bit longer about just over three and a half hours there are some of the features where you can shorten the wash I'll show you those in a moment and as you come round you've got some of the, like the specialised programs like the woolen program and as you can see it's a fairly quick wash only 40 minutes but it is only a two kilogram load uh, you've got the dark wash option on this I'd, I'd point it out because not all machines have got it you've got the rinse and spin or if you want to then you can just knock the the rinse part off and that's just the spin only and you can spin that at whichever spin speed you want to so you can go up to a maximum of 1400 and then some of the other options you've got the as they call the duvet and shirts and then you've got the drum clean and this is something that a lot quite a few people ask about now and basically this is a program that's designed to clean the drum as it should be fairly obvious called drum clean and what you'll find is that as it says don't put anything in just make sure you um, put some detergent in so it's normally about half the dose that you would normally do and then it takes just over an hour to do it and um, the reason they put this on now because a lot of people are washing at much lower temperatures say 20 30 or 40 degrees and a lot of people are not washing at the higher temperatures of 60 or 90 and the main problem is by washing at lower temperatures it's not clean in the machine as it should do so what this will do is to wash at a higher temperature just to give the machine a really good clean and really they recommend doing this probably about once a month or it does depend on clearly how much you use it and a couple of the other programs that I'd like to point out so first of all the Rapid 60 and you've got the Rapid 15 and 30 as well so these are quick wash programs they're not really designed for full load but what you can find so as I was saying it can do a five kilogram load in an hour which is is very good and what you'll find is you've got the rapid 15 and 30 so if you've just got something that just needs a freshen up uh, or at home we go swimming quite a bit and what you find is that things like the swimming costumes and towels don't really need washing properly they just need to be uh, like have a quick wash so things like this are really good and as I say that's the 30 minute program that's a maximum load of three and a half kilograms so the next thing I'll cover some of the display and what you can do for most programs you can alter the temperature so if you just press that button that will alter it so let's just start at 90 degrees and then you can go down 60 40 30 20 and then you've got the cold wash so that just washes in the temperature of the water that's coming in, into the machine the next one is the spin speed so you can alter it from 1400 1200 800 6 4 and a no spin option and this one is quite useful this is the what they call ready in 
So this is when the program will actually finish. Uh, this is basically a time delay. So if you use things like economy 7 or if you want the machine to be on when you're out, uh, which is, is quite a good idea, then what you can do is you can enable that. And the way that Siemens do it is this is when the machine will finish, not when it will start. Quite a few other manufacturers will do it when it starts. But what this is doing, this is actually working out the program that you've got. But what it will also do is it will work out the time to the end. So that, that's really the better way to do it. And what you'll find is that there is a, another option here called Speed and Eco. So I mentioned earlier that quite a few of the programs do take some time to wash. So as you can see here, that's two, two and a half hours. But what you can do is you can press that button, that's the speed button, and that will reduce that program down to around an hour. So if you put it on a 40 degree, then it is an hour. For this program, it is a maximum of five kilograms, but then what you can do, you can press the eco button as well. And don't be frightened by three and three quarter hours, because what you'll find is that the, the machine will actually adjust the wash time depending on the load size and how dirty the clothes are. The same as quite a few of the Siemens supplies is now. But what this will do is, if you do select this option, then it's a much more efficient way of washing the clothes. And you can find that performance is a lot better than, especially if you go for the, the speed option. The next thing to show you is the water and the rinse plus. And if you have got somebody in the household that suffers from allergies, or needs extra rinses in the program then just select that and as you can see it adds around 10-12 minutes on to the program you have got the pre-wash option which is is still there we do tend to find not many people use it now but it's good that Siemens have kept it on the machine uh, you have got the start and reload I won't press it at the moment but that's basically the start button and the reload option is basically if you've gone off you've just put the washing on and then you discovered that you've left a sock on the stairs as you're walking down then what you can do as long as the machine hasn't actually filled it with water then you can press the reload option normally within a minute or so and then it gives the option to pop the item in and then you can just press start again so something I'll show you at the bottom right here is an indicator as to how energy efficient the program is and it basically runs from one bar to five bars and number one bar is very energy efficient and five is not quite as efficient so as you can see here on the cotton program this would be a fairly standard program at 40 it's got three bars I'll just show you so if we press the speed button although it's a quicker wash it's not quite as energy efficient and if we go the other way if we add some time on then it makes it a lot more energy efficient and I really like that because it's just a really a good indicator to show you how energy efficient the program is without having to revert to the instructions so the next thing to show you on the left hand side is the detergent drawer what you'll find this is a fairly standard design of drawer especially in the Bosch and Siemens range of washing machines and it's fairly easily laid out you've got the pre-wash main wash conditioner and on the left hand side here what you can do depending if you're using powder or liquid then you can actually pull that down and if you're using liquid then we would recommend pulling that down and it just stops the liquid going into the machine too early and if you're using powder then just pop that up and that just stays up at the back there what you can also do you can actually remove the soap drawer so you just press the button in and that's easily removed um, there are some clips at the front here, I won't do this now, but what you can do is you can actually undo all of this and just put this part into a dishwasher just to give it a, a really good clean. I wouldn't recommend putting the front part in. Um, once you've finished, then that just slots back in and you're ready to go. So on the door itself, you've got a recess in the door here on the top right. And it's really nice, easy to grip door. So you just pull it open. And a couple of things to point out. First of all, we've got really nice, strong metal hinges that Siemens have made. 
and also the door catch on here is metal as well not like some of the cheaper brands where they might be plastic and they are not designed to last like some of the Siemens appliances are as you go inside the drum you can see that it is a, a very big drum as I say it's an 8 kilogram load so something else to show you at the bottom of the machine this is a little flap and what this does this gives you access to the pump just behind here so if you ever get any coins or any bits that have fallen out of say your trousers then what you can do is you can just open that I wouldn't do it at the moment because there might be some a bit of water in there from when the machines are tested uh, what you've also got is if you need to open the door so if you've had a power cut and you need to get close out then first of all you've got this little hook here and that will basically enable you to open the door manually without the power being on and also this is really good because this will enable you to empty the machine um, what you can do is you can put a, a bowl or a tray or something under here and empty the water out it can take a while especially if you're using that and if it was full of water but what you can find is it's better to do that and to open the door manually than having to leave everything in there and then to put this back on just locate it at the bottom and it can, that's it. and it just clicks back on so the next thing to show you is the energy label on this machine and it just gives you a rough idea as to how energy efficient it is as you can see at the top here it's got a, an A triple plus energy rating so it's as energy, energy efficient as uh, they are measuring at the moment as you go down to this side you've got the kilowatt hours that the machines are using and some of the really useful things to note are you've got the spin speed noise level so that's at 76 decibels which for a machine in this price range is actually very good and clearly it shows you've got the 8 kilogram capacity and the B rating for the spin and then it gives you the water consumption as well so I'll just show you around the back of the machine and I know for a lot of you it's not relevant but for some people especially if you're installing the machine then it can be quite important so first of all on the right hand side here you've got the water and you do get a new hose with it so don't worry about using your old hose we'll always recommend to use a new water pipe and on the left hand side here you've got the waste and that's quite a good length you can see it's it is curled around here at the moment and then you've got the mains the bottom left if you are installing these machines you do get the instructions I know it's tempting not to read them and just to go and install it but you have got these these are the transit bolts so you've got the the bolts in here that will definitely need taken out because if you don't then it can damage the machine so if you are thinking of purchasing one of these machines then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price uh, what I always would recommend is look out for people like ourselves that are offering the five year guarantee on these machines so that's parts and labour for five years which is really good and that's the reason we sell a lot of Siemens appliances because a lot of the, especially the washing machines, do come with a five year guarantee so I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Siemens WM14T481 please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video leave any comments below Thanks for watching.